Okay, so today we're gonna to take a look at PowerPoint Cameo, which is how you can get your webcam embedded into a presentation and make it look all jazzy and you can move your head around inside the presentation as you're presenting it in Microsoft Teams. We'll also have a look at why it might not work, which might be useful as well. So let's just get straight into it. So I've got a PowerPoint, a new PowerPoint slide that I've just called Cameo. You can see I've got some slides already. We're just gonna make a new one so you can see how I did that. So if you've updated your PowerPoint app, when that updates, who knows, because of Microsoft's release policy and your IT organization might hold some releases back as well. I'm using a Mac, so it just comes straight from the App Store. So if you've got the Mac version, you can just go to the App Store and update it yourself. So with the update, if you go to insert, a new thing over on the right hand side by video and audio is Cameo. And that's where your webcam is going to appear in a little window. If I just move my webcam and it, by default, it just puts a block down here. So that means that when you are presenting these slides on an online meeting through Teams, your webcam is going to be in amongst the slides. You can do some quite cool things like, you know, you can have all of your usual stuff that you would have in your slide presentation here. And you know you can jazz up the slides to however you want them with loads of text and pictures and moving things. And your webcam is always going to be wherever you put it on the slide. So that's not that useful, you might think, right now, because your face is going to appear in Teams anyway. Some of the cool things you can do with Cameo and putting your you know webcam right in the slide is you can move it anywhere in the slide. So that is one benefit. You can have different shapes and styles of your uh, cameo. So you can have yourself in a diamond if you want. You can even then pick any shape. So you can see in one of the ones above, I've got myself as an arrow. Um, you could have yourself as like a little uh, slanty box. You could have yourself as an X, whatever you want to jazz up your presentation. If you had an X in your company logo, for example, you could appear right in the company logo, which would be quite cool, wouldn't it? I'm Gavin Jones, founder of MeTime, where we help people save time at work using Microsoft 365. If you need any more help on Microsoft 365, then you can either book a call using the link in the description below, or we've got a couple of free trainings that you can sign up for, which are completely free and take you through either some end user training, some personal productivity stuff, or some ways that your whole organization could benefit from a holistic view of Microsoft 365. So check those out. As well as that, if you use the morph transition, so if you could transitions and turn morph on, because I've got Cameo in these slides and that one, when we transition between slides, it's gonna morph us from one to the other. So same thing you can do with morphing shapes from one slide to the next. We can morph our Cameo from one slide to the next and have us always talking and in the right frame so we don't overlap anything in our slides from when we used to use the standout view potentially in Teams. I know, you know, go over some of the things in the, that you want to present or just have nothing and your head is to the side. So you can sort of make yourself more prominent on the slide if you want, as well as have sort of jazzed up animations, which is quite cool. So that's saved because it's all in OneDrive. If we jump into Teams and start a new meeting, then we'll come up and share our presentation using PowerPoint Live. And then you can see it started sharing. It's in the presenter view, which is the default view. And you can see that because we've got two cameos on this slide, we now look as if we're uh, in two places at once, which may or may not be useful. You, I guess usually you just have one. And then as we move through the slide, you can see all the morph animations are still working as they did in our preview, but now presenting right in a Teams meeting. If you can't see your head in the webcam and you just got a white box and you don't understand why it's not working, it's probably because PowerPoint has been updated and your Teams app has not yet been updated. Obviously that is gonna be less of an issue the further in the future you watch this video, but you can always come through and check for updates to just make sure you've got the latest version. But again, it might take a, a while to roll out across the entire globe at the time of recording this. So let me know in the comments what you think of PowerPoint Cameo and how to get your webcam showing up right in the slides. If you want to know more tips about Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams and how to make your life more productive, 
then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video. If you like this video, it'd be really helpful and help the channel if you gave the video a like. If you really liked it, we've got super thanks available now just below the video if you want to help support the channel with some cash. Thanks for watching so far and see you in the next one.